M0 FXB ICOM ID 5100. Someone asked me, how do I save a file and then open it using the ICOM software? So the first thing you want to do is get yourself an SD card. So that's where it goes. Okay, pop it in. 16 GB is fine. Once you've put that in there, you're going to need to format it. So when you pop it into your radio, you'll see this look. Okay, and it will be flashing. So you go to menu, up and down till you see SD card. And then you wanna, the first thing you wanna do is hit format. I'm not gonna do it again because I've done mine, but hit format, let it do its thing. It might ask you to unmount before you format. So unmount or disconnects it, format. And then put it back in and you'll see that when you go back in, that will stop flashing. So we go menu. SD card. So now you want to save it, yeah? So you can ex import and export your repeater list this way as well. If we go import here, and then you go to it. Once you've loaded the file onto your SD card, uh, let's do repeat list. It's there. That's my one there. You can export as well. But anyway, you want to go save settings. And I can do that again because that's not going to hurt. And we go yes, and it will overwrite it and put it on there. So then grab that SD card and plug it in using an adapter. And you can buy these adapters and get a decent one. Don't get a cheap one, get a decent one. Pay a few pound more and get a decent one. And this one seems to be good. So Brent, okay, and it's got a slot in for the small and the larger SD card. So we've done that, okay. Now if we go to the export, just so we can see what it looks like. Export, where is it? Um, Peter list. No, it's not going to show me. It's an ICF file. There you go. Da, da, da. Or is it? Let's just look. Uh, save setting, load setting, save form. So I'm just faffing now. Save setting. Okay. So that's the settings. So we're going to grab that now and plug it into our PC using that adapter. So now download the CS5100 software. When you open this, so you'll get to this page here, like just scroll to the bottom, click there and click download, and you'll get your zip just up here. And just double click and run it in the normal way. Once it opens, it will be it will be stored as CS5100. Put that into your search, CS5100 app. There it is there. And now when it first opens, it's going to ask you if you're, going to, if you're using the cable or the SD card. Click SD card and then go, if you get to my point, you'll go to File, Open. And then you're actually looking for the ICF file. So if you go back to, let's go back to the original, this PC. And then go to my, there's my, there's my SD card plugged into my PC. Double click. And you'll, first of all, you're going to see 5100. Double click again. Go into settings, and then you'll see your ICF file. Okay, double click. And so now you can start looking at your memory channel. So here, icon 5100, then go down to memory, and we'll go all, and then the first 0 to 99, and there's just your normal standard memory. Now this software, it, there's a lot to the software, because don't forget, DR mode is very complicated, if you ask me, um, just like DMR. I just want to, I'm not going to sort of try and teach you how to use it yet because I need to remind myself how to use it. But there it is there. We're looking at memory channels and we can easily add names. So look, some of these haven't been named and then we can change our defaults there. So I'm going to change that to 145.600, which is actually GB3WR, GB3WR. Might as well use caps. And I'll put number two here as 434.500. That's my hubnet node. Hubnet. So, you know, of course, you're going to choose what you like. So if you want to say you like, for, if you want to do a repeater, there's one here, which is GB3WE. It says Western Supermare here. Um, but that should be, really, the name should be, if you ask me, GB3WE. That's what it should be. You want the plus or minus, the shift, which is there, 
the name and the, whether you're going to use tone or tone squelch. So tone is what I tend to use, to be honest. Uh, but tone squelch means you won't really hear all that hash noise on receive. And that's it. You just go around and add your, your different favourite memory channel. So that's the easy way to use it. DR, now that's another thing altogether. Um, to me, it's a whole learning to DR. But with your call sign isn't actually primarily for your call sign. It's actually so you can add things like XLX and DCS. And, or you can call someone direct. I've got a couple in there. Repeater list, hopefully you've got your repeater list. And if you go into my hotspot, there's one I've got there. Where I've added my hotspot. Um, let me just, uh, you'll see it's hotspot. I could correct that spelling mistake, can't I? Hot spot. It was actually hotspot three, it was meant to say. Three, there you go. Lounge, I said it's in the lounge. M0 has to be M because it was my third hotspot, which normally would be the frequency, the minus or plus shift, and then naught if it's a hotspot, and you can add a repeater as well. Um, but generally, you're downloading all this kind of stuff, aren't you? So you go to UK and look at all this, you know. So I haven't entered any of these, but they're all in my radio, thanks to DR mode. And that's the thing about DR mode. And um, yeah, and it just goes, there's a lot of learning to do with this kind of software. DTMF memories, digital. Uh, one that is important is if we go back to digital, go back up here, digital is 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 your actual call sign in the radio, which is which is under my station. That one is important, call sign. You can put more than one person in. You need this, yeah, so M0FXB, and I've just put the name in, it's 5100. Okay, so that's important, and you can add more. Otherwise, no one's going to hear you on D-Star. So that's it. I just wanted to show you that, how to open your ICF file that you've saved on your radio, and then bring it to the software, CS5100, and then open it, and then tinker with it, and do what you like with it. And you've got read and write as well. And when you're ready, you just go File, and then Save. And it saves it automatically to the same place, or you could do save as, and then you can save it somewhere. So I just put it back where it was there, look, save. Saved it to the same place. Thanks for watching, hope this helps, bye for now.